Welcome on in guys to my review of Elgato's Epoch Cam and a way I came up with make it even better. Let's check it out. And before we get too far into this review, guys, I want to quickly mention a few things. We're not doing a super deep dive into the Epoch Cam and all of its settings. For that, you should definitely check out Epos Vox's video. I'm going to link that up there. I'm mostly going to cover the surface level stuff and how I found my experience using it over the last few days. And also, of course, a way to make it even better. Webcams and streaming have gone hand in hand since the beginning. But many webcams haven't been updated since the beginning. The industry standard, the Logitech C920, was released in 2012, almost a decade ago. And while there have been recent additions that push webcam technology forward, like the Logitech Brio and Avermedia's newest live webcam, at that point you're running into a $200 plus dollar webcam, and really you should just be saving up a tiny bit more to get a nice entry-level DSLR and a capture card. Well, Elgato has a solution for those of us that don't feel like spending that kind of money on a nice camera. And in fact, it utilizes what's probably the most powerful camera in your house, your phone. That's right, the Epoch Cam is in fact an app. Now, this is a good point to mention that the app is currently only available for iPhones. However, I did reach out to Elgato and they confirmed yet again that they are working on an Android version of this app, but unfortunately they have no release date planned. So what's so great about this app? Well, first off, you've been watching it this whole time. I don't know if you guys noticed that things look a little different around here, but this whole video is being shot wirelessly on the Epoch Cam app. That's right, this app can transmit video with almost barely any delay wirelessly to OBS and other conferencing apps. Pretty amazing, right? You can also hook this up to your computer via USB and transmit video that way. However, I feel like the real strength in this app lies in the fact that you can transmit video and audio wirelessly to OBS from your phone, from anywhere, in your house. That is amazing. If I wanted to go over here and pick a game off the shelf and talk about it and give you guys a little tour of the game room, you can do that. If you wanted to go take the phone down with you when you were gonna go get a snack or go get some food or go get a drink and still be connected with chat and not have to have a BRB screen, you can do that too. Nice. And if you wanted to take that into the bat, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but as you can see, the ideas are pretty insane with what you can do with this little app. Another benefit of this app is that it has a free version. If you want more features like being able to pick your resolution, output type, that kind of thing, you do have to pay all of $8. <laughs> At that price point, you're better off just buying the pro version it gives you way more flexibility way more options and uh the fact that you can go a full 1920 by 1080 in itself is worth the eight dollars that's a flat fee by the way it's not subscription it's not any of that bullshit just a flat eight dollars okay so i've just been telling you how good this camera is how about i show you and here's a little side by side for you i picked up the nearest webcam to me which happened to be the razor kyo now, I do actually really like this webcam for what it is. Uh, I do really like the addition of the ring light, and I really should do a review on this at some point. Maybe we will. But I think you can tell just immediately how much of a disadvantage it's at compared to the Epoch cam. Not only is there way more noise in the background, but the colors are way more washed out, way fewer colors. It looks like I haven't been in the sun in a millennium <laughs> and just all in all my gut reaction is the, the epoch cam is miles above this. this is about any image editing by the way you can improve the quality of your webcam using filters and other tools on the obs app but base out of the box i mean i gotta give it to the epoch cam okay i've been going on and on about how great this camera app is and why you should get it 
but I did also mention at the beginning of this video that I figured out a way to improve on it. So let's get to that part. So the biggest weakness with this app is actually the device you're using it on, your phone. If you want to use this for long periods of time during stream, which let's face it is the norm, you're going to need to have it connected to a power source. And the easiest way to do that is via a cable, which is not ideal when you want to just grab this and go when using it as a wireless camera in your stream setup. I would also argue that mounting options are a little bit tricky. There are ways you can do it, but you do have to get creative, especially if you want to have some sort of flexibility with mounting it on your desk. So I was trying to come up with a way to not only have wireless charging, but have some sort of phone clamp as well that would connect to some mounting systems like Elgato's own multi-mount system that would work for your desk. Now, I was racking my brain trying to come up with some sort of Frankenstein method, some sort of really in-depth tutorial <laughs> on how to get these two things to work together, but I realized the automotive industry has already solved this issue. That's right, they make wireless chargers with clamps and grips for your car. There is a small hiccup, however. All of the wireless chargers that I researched that had this criteria of not only the charging, but the clamps to hold the phone in place, used the same mounting system and only provided either a suction cup mounting system for your car dashboard or a clamp for your air vents. I also noticed that both of those options usually connect via a 17 millimeter ball mount to the back of the charger. Now, there had to be a way to get this 17 millimeter ball mount up to Elgato's 20 millimeter ball mount. And for those of you that have watched some of my videos, especially that one, you know where this is going. TacForm is here again with the rescue. They make a 17 millimeter to 20 millimeter adapter, thus letting you use any of these wireless chargers on your desk setup. So let's do a quick little setup. So I actually grabbed two of these wireless chargers to test. And uh, let's start with the one that's probably my favorite. So really easy on both of these, you just unscrew the back to insert this 17 millimeter to 20 millimeter adapter and make sure it's nice and tight. Then all you gotta do is place it in your Elgato multi-mount. Make sure it's nice and tight as well. You definitely don't want this thing slipping and sliding. Um, and I'm actually gonna show off the other one that I got. This one's a little bit different. It's got some pretty cool features, including a IR sensor that will automatically open and close the clamp. And of course, some uh, gamer RGB. But this one's probably my favorite. It has an adjustable uh, clamp and rollers on it that actually make it really easy to take your phone in and out of this uh, holder. And it really kind of does a good job of keeping in place. So again, just making sure it's nice and tight. And of course, plugged in so that when you do put your phone in there, it does charge. And like I said, it is very secure. You can bump this, but it's easy enough to pull out. All right, so this orientation is, of course, using the front-facing camera, which isn't nearly as good as the back-facing camera. And it's super easy to get that set up. All you gotta do is unplug everything, turn it over, spin it over, tighten everything back up, and you're good to go. And this is honestly the easiest way for you to get a constant stream of power for your phone while using it as a webcam. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you're going to use this get up in your setup, please comment down below and let me know the creative ways you're going to use your own wireless cam. If you want to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this, that would be amazing as well. And of course, I stream on Twitch. If you want to come hang out, drop some questions on gear and setup, I'd love to have you. I also do design and art streams and occasionally video game streams as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.